Hey everybody, I got a uh, round code Eric from a blow himself up dude channel, or as I call it, the channel with a billion bazillion videos. Thanks for coming on, Eric. Hi, glad to be here. <laughs> uh, well, today we're going to be talking about Siege. It's all wrapped up today. And uh, Century Fallen Sun, S U N. Uh, yeah. I want to start off by saying, you know, fuck Century. I Fuck concur. Uh, this whole, this whole like last year and a half has just been like them sucking up to Sentry, you know, like building him up. Oh, he's so great! Look at him. He's he's totally not Superman. He doesn't have Superman. Wait, 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 wait! This last year, they've been doing that since he came into the Marvel universe. Like, yeah, since like New Avengers started, but they really started like beefing him up. Like he. He was in like everything, and World War Hulk. Yeah, and this is the Hulk the strongest he's been. Nobody can stop him. Century. Yeah, and it's just annoying to me. Like they they when they went to siege and in issue two, I have to admit I I loved this, but for all the wrong reasons. Uh, Ares figures out that Norman Osborn's up to no good. I don't know how he figured that one out, uh, but. So he decides to turn on the initiative and start fighting back to defend Asgard. And Sentry just comes and, like, rips him in half. And see, see I, I, I didn't like that. I'm not a fan of Ares either, so I was glad... Oh, I'm, I'm, I, well, I'm not, I'm not a fan of Ares either, but I, 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 was, I was like, that's way too graphic for a Marvel comic book. <laughs> and there, and there, there's more, like, in, intestines than I think there's in the human body in that page. <laughs> I don't like, know. Like, we have like remember, we have like a mile of intestine or whatever. That, I, that's true. I, I remember like somebody looked at it, they're like like they they spent so much time on the detail, and somebody else was like, "Yeah, but I don't think there's that much in the human body." <laughs> it was it was it was bloody. It was brutal. Yeah, but like my major problem with Siege is Siege is they didn't. I I for one loved Civil War. I think Civil War was an absolute amazing story arc. <laughs> And Siege basically just says, you know what? Fuck it all. Fuck it all. None of well, it matters anymore. I wasn't crazy about Civil War, but it was mostly the writing. Like, I liked the concept. I thought it was the execution I wasn't crazy about. But the thing is, Marvel had the big thing where, like, well, we're not just going to sweep this under the rug. This is going to have consequences, and it's going to, you know, you know, be long-running. And, I mean, obviously, I guess it did stay for a couple of years. But to just, like, be like, no, it's not there anymore. Yeah, like... They they killed Steve Rogers and they killed him. He didn't get shot by some ray that sent him back in time. They killed him. Yeah, he, and then he, he got... and then he magically came back because they retrofitted that it's a laser pistol that shatters your personality to be shot into the time space continuum. It was really really bad. And then I'm really glad Brubaker stood up and said, "Hey, I want Bucky to stay Captain America." Because if they completely and they completely cut that out because Brubaker's book with Bucky being Cap is so good. It's so good. And I, I don't want to see that go away. And then they also just they repeal the initiative af after Siege is over. Sorry if, if someone so, else. So, so, well, well I, I only read the first two issues. Yeah. Um, but what happens to the Superhero Registration Act? They just, at the very end, they're just like, Superhero Registration Act repealed. Uh. It's like, Norman Osborn has been replaced by uh, Steve Rogers as top cop. Right. And 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 that's, and then he's going to talk to the president. You never actually see his face. It's obviously supposed to be Obama, but it may be like they have, like, image issues or something. But Which you never... Which is weird, because they used Bush. Yeah. And so, and so like, and he's talking to he's talking to Cap at the end. He's like, I, I want you to, to fix this or whatever. And he's like, well, I'm going to have to do it my way. And then, then it's like the heroic age, ooh, and and like <laughs> just big letters, the heroic age, ooh, <laughs> and like Loki is dead now. Uh, I don't know exactly how that. I mean, he's a god, so they could always just be like, nope, he's back. But uh, like Sentry just like obliterates him and. Like, I don't also don't understand, like, Loki has been, like, leading the siege on Asgard, and then in, in Siege 4, he's like, I'm sorry, Dad, this isn't what I wanted. I wanted Asgard to be good. 
right. Well, well, but 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 let's be fair. At least they're actually like doing this in continuity, mm-hmm. not like the century, where they're just like, yeah, this is a huge retcon that interferes with everything. Yeah, and and like the century somehow in the past erased everyone's mo- memory of him, so no one remembers him until he came back because he wanted people to because. He wanted people to forget about the void, because if no one knows about the void, it doesn't exist or something. And I was, I was like, "That's a really big jump to be making." He's also got Xavier powers as well as being Superman. What's going on here? But and and, and, and he took Rogue's virginity. Yeah, yeah. That 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 boggles my mind. Like him and Rogue have been fucking for years, and like, and he had a wife. Yeah, he had a wife. She's been in love with, like, several guys, but it's just, like, the thing about Rogue is Rogue, her, like, almost obsession is to be able to touch people. Like, she'd do anything to be able to touch people. Right. And if she had someone she could touch this whole time, don't you think she would be hanging out with them more? She wouldn't be around the X-Men so much. She'd be, like, hanging out with her best buddy Sentry. Like, I get that Bob's a boring guy, but there's a, there are some... There, there are some uh, things that she could well, benefit well, from. Well, well that, that whole thing in Legacy where she's just alone because she can't be around anyone. Yeah, it doesn't make any sense if there's someone she can be around. Yeah, uh, and and like I'll, I'll, I'll read you the, the dialogue. It's like she's like, oh, this is so hard. <laughs> I mean, you know, I've been waiting the longest to be able to touch someone. He was the only person who could hug me, and now he's gone. But in X Men Legacy, they've already established that yeah, she's she has not, control of her. She has control of her powers now. So why would she care? And then like Johnny Storm and Cyclops are talking, and they're like, "Wait a minute! So did she?" And Cyclops is like, "Yeah." You mean did they? Yeah. For how long? Don't know. She just told us on the way here. <laughs> Well, well, and, uh, and, uh, was, was Hope there? Or uh, Bruce Banner or something? Because apparently they were the best, best of friends. That, that, that was, that was one of the retcons that came around with Rahul, because they were, they were, like, best friends. And, uh, and, like, all, all of them show up in costume. You think they'd, if they all loved Sentry so much, they'd be wearing, like, suits, you know, or... And, like, the Fantastic Four show up late, like, they couldn't get there in time. Like, you think Reed Richards can invent a ray that can shoot them there in time or whatever? You know, right. he can invent a ray for everything else. 